River rats were set up and I got some juicy baits in there. I promise you that. I don't promise you anything other than other than I got good bait. I am promising you it's raining right now and it's supposed to keep raining till the end of eternity, which I can't complain too much because uh, we need it. Flatheads need it. So I'm just going to throw a live one and probably chunked one or maybe some worms or I don't know. We'll try a little bit of everything. Give them the buffet line and they're jumping up and giving themselves brain damage right now in there. All right, let's fish. What a wonderful bait. I like creek jibs early in the year. I kind of like them all the time, but I feel pretty, I don't feel as confident in them right now as I do with anything. And more confident than most things. I don't like how that sinker slide's sliding though. So we're gonna take it off. That's the nice thing about these. Then come off real quick. Just loop it, pull it over, loop it. It's easier if you do it before they get wet though. There we go, pull it over. Then it's off, and I'm gonna take the clip, take that off the sinker slide. Put it on my swivel, three-way swivel that's already tied on. How convenient. It's like, uh, it's like I planned it that way. Weird. Might as well do the same thing with this one, right? Right meow. Not gonna lie, that thing pushed you upriver pretty good. I was going like three miles an hour upriver up in a little plastic boat with a little plastic motor. It's not the most all-American thing, but I get tired of working on boat motors, I'll tell you that much. So yeah, it's nice. Now I say that, I'll probably like break it in half or something. The fact that that rod right there, it's got crawlers on it, nothing's touching it, actually is kind of encouraging to know that there's not any little dinkers down there. I always wonder like, how far is my bait from Flathead? I know they're in this area. Do I have a bait two foot from one? And it's just not close enough? Am I like 20 yards from one? Is he two pounds? Is he 102 pounds? I don't know. I would bet one billion dollars I am within 150 yards of Flathead. Now can I get him to eat? Oh. <laughs> I just talked about how there wasn't anything hitting my night crawlers, and then little channel cat McGee comes over and starts smacking them around. Well, there's probably not a 102 pounder sitting right there, or that channel cat would have saw him and been like, <gasps> I'm out. Made a little bit of a move. Still getting used to this whole uh, motor thing. I've ran a trolling motor off of these before, but it's a different world when you're dealing with current, when you got that prop sitting in the water. Kind of slick how the seat swivels around so I can fish out the back like I'm fishing out of a little boat. Flatheads don't seem too impressed yet. No. Thought we might have been onto something right there for a second. Just a ball of crawlers sitting shallow. I'm gonna bet it's not a flathead because he dropped it. Unless he ran a little ways and he still got it in his mouth. Flatheads are greedy, man. Once they got it, they, they don't like to give it up. Just what I heard, I don't know nothing. Come back. Well, the worm strike first. I actually had a real bite and kind of pulled the rod down. We got an eight-dot hook on there with night crawlers, so it's gonna take a pretty sizable fish to suck that down. But I want a gap wide enough in case a big boy decides to suck it down. So I'll get it back out there. Got cleaned. Probably not going to catch a fish with that. Well, I could if there was bait on it, but there's not any bait on it. Move. That's what you do when you're flying fishing during the day. You move a lot. And sometimes you catch a fish. Had to take me a pee break before I got to my next spot, but... Try these things out. If you haven't tried them, they are better than advertised. Almonds, sriracha almonds, they're okay. Sriracha cashews, that's their next level. I'm gonna resituate myself, put some foot warmers on, because my feet are in some cold water. Water way too cold for a flathead. 
I'm gonna keep trying anyway. Now you want to talk about something you don't see very much of. A largemouth in the river. I know there's lots of places that have largemouth in rivers. I don't live in one and I ain't fishing in one. Had to throw around a jig and crawler. Couldn't help myself, it looked pretty juicy. I gotta do it for a little while longer. Well, that was abrupt. I was just like la di da, and then the crowd goes down. Like for real goes down. I was in the middle of casting that one. Then we get this dude. Say hi. That was quick. I'm impressed you got an ADOT hook in your mouth. It's exciting. Excitement. You ain't taking that night crawler though. Catfish. Not big, ugly, and brown, but. It has whiskers. It's nice. Few channies in there. Oh, he's starting to get spawning colors on him. Thought he was bigger than this for a second, but he uh, he just got sideways and tangled up. Oops. There we go. I mean, not not a flathead, but not a bad consolation prize either. I should keep some, but I have a feeling I'm not going to feel like cleaning them. So, back in you go. Well, he's excited. Funny, I'm fishing with cut bait and stuff side by side, live bait side by side, but they just keep wanting the worms. I mean, I'll give them what they want. Don't, don't think I won't. Okay, later. The crawlers, they're digging them. Digging them enough to get them down the hatch with an eight dot hook, which is pretty impressive. Sadly, I'm down to my last gob of crawlers. Got plenty of cut bait, but they don't seem to want it. So if that's all I got for crawlers, hopefully it goes down with a bang. Post front shallow timber, soft baits, catfish like it. It's half as entertaining getting out of here as it was getting in. Um, you're in for a pretty good show. I'll leave the camera on just for your pure enjoyment. I think I got time for one more spot and then. Okay. my front end around. Yeah, just like that. Zipping out. That was a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. Sorry. First fish on cut bait. He just thumped it and the rod goes down like it's supposed to. I dropped my phone in the mud, in the water, which I shouldn't have been playing on my phone anyway. But here we are. Mr. Chani. Come here. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not using Channel Cat gear when you can boat flip two pounders or half a pound or whatever that guy is. So. 
What's that, number four? I don't know. It's pretty sweet. Good way to end the day. If I don't catch another fish, it is what it is. But... Oh, you got a bloody nose. Sorry. I'm going to let you go. See ya. River Ats, it's supposed to start downpouring. So I'm going to bail. I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to get my camping stuff ready because I got a big trip I'm going to go on tomorrow. Now, whether I catch anything or not, who knows? But I do promise you I'm going to sit out and camp all night and enjoy myself. Oh, I got a nibble. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button for real. Um, like, all of you watching these, super cool. And, and I'm genuinely super appreciative that you take the time out of your day to go on a little adventure and listen to me ramble and run my mouth. A lot better at that than catching fish for the most of the time. So if you like it, hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. Hopefully flatheads will start gearing up here soon. I am as anxious as anybody, and that might be why I'm taking a trip. So we'll see what happens. Anyway, thanks for watching, for real. Hope you catch a giant.